Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you, my sisters. God bless you. God bless you. Amen, amen. Today is day 24 for Moms Back to School Prayers. So glad to see each and every one of you here this morning. We thank God for his faithfulness. We thank God for his loving kindness. We thank God for his new mercies every morning. Glory to his holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your holy name. Let us just open up our mouths together and praise the Lord, for he is good. His mercies endure forever. Great is his faithfulness and his loving kindness. He is a God that does not sleep nor slumber, and I'm so glad about that. I am so glad about that. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Let me make sure I have everything set up here this morning. There we go. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, Father. Day 24 is prayer for wisdom for mom. That's right, for us. As we pray for our children, we have to be strong. We have to be ready. And we have to make sure that God is, has infused his power and strength in us, which he has. But we have to know this and we have to operate from that. Amen. Amen. Our first prayer point comes from Proverbs 3 and 13. Proverbs 3 and 13. Joyful is the person who finds wisdom. We thank you, Lord getting some feedback. Joyful is the person who finds wisdom, the one who gains understanding, Psalm 3 and 13. Joyful is the person who finds wisdom, the one who gains understanding. That's important because the joy of the Lord is our strength. And when we are infused with his power and might, and we are, then we are a joyful people, a joyful mom who prays for her children. And there we find wisdom, the one who gains understanding. As we spend more and more time with God, as we lean not to our own understanding, but we lean and trust on him, he will impart to us wisdom. His word tells us, that if any person, any man lacks wisdom, ask, and the Lord will freely give. God does not want us to be ignorant, and he knows that knowledge alone is not enough. Properly applying the knowledge that we have shows wisdom when we properly apply knowledge. It is good to know, but when you know and you exercise it appropriately, God says we have joy in that. Our second scripture, Ephesians 1 and 7. That the, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom. This wisdom doesn't come from anybody or anything else. It comes directly from God. That is the wisdom that we are to grab hold, embrace, and hold fast to. Properly aligning ourselves with God's wisdom puts us in a place of joy. It puts us in the proper position to pray without ceasing, it puts us in the proper place where God can continually infuse his power and might. Our third scripture, James chapter 3, verse 17. 
I'm actually going to read a little bit more than verse 17 so we can put it in its context for our prayer today. I'm going to be starting at verse 13. James chapter 3, verse 13. Are there those among you who are truly wise and understanding? Then they should show it by living right and doing good things with a gentleness that comes from wisdom. But if you are selfish and have bitter jealousy in your hearts, do not brag. Your bragging is a lie that holds the truth. Your bragging is a lie that hides the truth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That kind of wisdom does not come from God, but from the world. It is not spiritual. It is from the devil. Where jealousy and selfishness are, there will be confusion and every kind of evil. But the wisdom that comes from God is first of all pure, then peaceful, gentle, and easy to please. This wisdom is always ready to help those who are troubled and to do good for others. This is the kind of wisdom that comes from God. It is always fair and honest. People who work for peace in a peaceful way plant a good crop of right living. This is why I wanted to read it in its context. That this wisdom that comes from God is pure and that it is peaceful, gentle, and easy to please. Anything other than that we know is of the world and is not of God. Wisdom is peaceful and it easily is to please. When you use wisdom, you're not fighting against your children. You're loving them. You're applying wisdom so that you can love them and teach them. And more importantly, you're showing them that this is the way God wants us to live, a holy life. So moms, let us apply wisdom. We've been praying for 24 days. Well, more than that, but this month we've been praying 24 days for our children. How do we do that? By applying the word that we're praying. This is why we pray the word of God over our children, for our children, for ourselves, and for our families. The word of God is truth. It does not brag. It does not have to because it is true. Truth stands regardless. So let us begin to pray, knowing that we pray with wisdom. We pray with wisdom. Our first prayer point, today I acknowledge that without you, Lord, I am nothing. I plug myself into your divine wisdom today. Thank you, God. Glory to your holy name. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your holy name. I plug myself into your divine wisdom today. I'm sorry, I'm getting feedback. Okay, there we go. Today I acknowledge that without you, Lord, I am nothing. Even in this time, oh God, I need you. I need you, Lord, that the technology does not overcome us, that we will continue to pray through regardless 
of what the technology does. We yield to you, Lord, and allow your wisdom to lead and guide us. Thank you, mighty God. As we plug ourselves into your divine wisdom today, we have all that we need to pray, to do our motherly responsibilities for our children and for our home. We lean not to our own understanding, but in everything that we do, O oh Lord, we acknowledge you first and foremost, that you are God over everything, everything in our lives, in our world. You sit high and you look low, Father God, and you see and know all things, and you work all things together for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose. That's us, Father God. You called us to motherhood. And no matter what we face each and every day, oh God, you work it together for our good. This is why we plug into your divine wisdom and lean not to our own understanding so that we receive the pure wisdom that only comes from you, so that we do everything in love, in peace, and that we are eager and easy, oh God, so that our children can respond properly because we show them your love, because we apply your wisdom to the situation. When they see us calm and at peace, they will do the same. You did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. This is what we exercise today, oh God. This is what we will operate in today. Applying your wisdom to every situation concerning our responsibilities as godly mothers. We thank you and we praise you and we do it with great joy for your joy is our strength. And we thank you in Jesus name. Whatever decisions we have made concerning our lives and that of our children in the past, that are affecting them negatively, oh God. We repent now. We repent now in the mighty name of Jesus. Please have mercy on us, Lord. And we pray and we pray and we pray that the blood of Jesus speak over our life today and forevermore. Thank you, mighty God. We ask for forgiveness in Jesus' name. That the past will not haunt us. The past will not be our today nor our tomorrow. That we have learned from that. We have grown from that. And we will operate in the grace and the mercy that you give us new today. And move forward in living holy before our holy God that you may be glorified in all that we think, all that we say, and all that we do, that our children will see godly living and meditate on those things. They will mimic those things, that their life may too be holy. We thank you, God, and give you praise. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Lord, I request for the wisdom that is from above from you today. Lord, saturate us with your wisdom necessary to deal with every situation. I will not make any decisions that can affect the future of my children negatively. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, God. So, Father God, we stop now. We pause now and we ask for your wisdom. We need you, Lord, every hour, 
every minute, every second of the day. We ask for your wisdom. We ask for your power. And we ask for your strength. And we now receive it. We receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for hearing us when we pray. Thank you, God, for hearing our prayers. We know that you're faithful to hear us because we're your children. And your ear is inclined towards us every day, every moment, to hear us when we cry out to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whenever I find myself in a situation requiring wisdom, Lord, I receive the grace to constantly seek yours. We will not apply our knowledge but we receive the wisdom from God to apply to every situation concerning us, our children, and our families. This is the wisdom that will change the situation. God works everything together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Thank you, Father God, for our relationship with you. Thank you, Father God, for being our bridge over troubled waters. Thank you, mighty God, for being the solid rock on which we stand, that we will not fall or sink into the cares and the situations of this world. We stand on the solid rock the solid rock that does not fail, that is sure, that is strong, that is mighty. Thank you, God. Glory to your name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Isn't it wonderful that our God is amazing? Our God is faithful. Our God is strong. And he gives us his wisdom. We don't have to lean on our own understanding. We don't have to look to a book, a self-help book. We don't have to listen to other people. We can go direct to the throne of grace and receive the wisdom that we need for the day. Yes, God puts us in a community, one with another, to strengthen one another, to encourage one another. But be careful that you don't allow the outside talk to influence your mind, to persuade you away from the wisdom of God. If anything or anyone exalts itself above God, mama, go the other direction. That is not of God. His word told us that his wisdom, first of all, is pure. It is also peace-loving. It is gentle at all times and willing to yield to others. If the wisdom that you're hearing is not of this nature, then you know in your heart that it is not of God. Thank you, Lord. Not only does he give us the wisdom, but he tells us what it looks like. So we don't have to wonder, is this of God or not of God? His holy word in James 3 verse 17 tells us what it looks like and how it comes. So use discernment, mothers. Use discernment and know that it is of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Whenever I find myself in a situation requiring wisdom, Lord, I receive the grace to constantly seek yours. 
I will not act based on my human wisdom. Rather, I will rely totally on you, God, totally trusting you to direct me aright. Because his wisdom is pure. It's not puffed up and it does not brag. Truth stands clear. It doesn't need any kind of extra. Truth is pure. And you will see it if you seek it. So mamas, seek truth. Apply it with wisdom. And do it with love and gentleness at all times. When you speak to your children, Apply wisdom with the words that you speak. Then your children will receive it because it is pure. It is of God. It is gentle and it is easy to please. You want your children to correct. You want them to turn from the evil to good. So when they are doing things they're not supposed to, use wisdom when you speak to them. Use wisdom when you pray over them. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will correct the situation and it will be done in loving kindness. Our children receive things that are pure they receive things that are holy from us because that's what we're giving them. I thank you, God, and I give you praise for your wisdom. Help us, Lord, not to react to situations in the flesh. Let us be constantly led by your spirit, God. By your spirit, God. By your spirit, God. We will apply the wisdom in every situation. We'll do it in such a way that it will reflect what your word tells us in James 3.17. That wisdom is pure, peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. Willingness that the situation be corrected in the right way. Not that we're puffed up and that I'm right and you're wrong, but in a way that it will correct what is wrong. Wisdom wants peace. Peace that corrects with love. Apply this wisdom to every situation. And that means we're being led by the Spirit because we cannot do it in our own self. But when we're led by the Spirit of God, applying God's wisdom to the situation, then the situation will be corrected and bring glory to the God we serve. This will show to the world who God really is. It will show our children who God really is. And this is what God says we are to do as his people, to show him, to allow him, his word, his wisdom, his love, his peace, his kindness, his joy, the fruits of the spirit to manifest in our life. Hallelujah, Jesus. God's wisdom help us. God's wisdom help us. Embrace it today, my sisters. It is ours through Christ Jesus. In situations of anger, frustration, and helplessness, we will do that which only you will lead us to do in Jesus' name. We will not operate in our own. We will operate according to your wisdom, God. We seek peace in every situation. 
We thank you for the infusion of your power and might to do all that we need to do this day. May everything that we think, everything that we say, and everything that we do glorify who you are in the heavens and the earth. May it manifest in our lives today. Thank you, Father God, for loving us more. Thank you, Lord, for your godly wisdom to apply to every situation that we will encounter this day. Thank you for the grace and mercy that we have each and every morning that's new. Thank you, God. We praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I'm checking to see if I have any other special announcements besides if everyone knows about the moms, the VIP moms. If you know about it, raise your hand. That means you have the information to go out and share with your sisters who don't know and invite them to join us. We've got some great things coming and you know, Sister Olashayi is always bringing new things to us, for us, so that we can grow, that we can be the best moms that God says that we are. Every day we're growing into that. So we want to make sure that moms out there that don't know about Moms Achieving Purpose, come in and learn and grow in community to come and join our prayer every morning they don't have to pray alone they can come and join us and we want them to do that we thank you god for this opportunity today and if you need the link if you're part of our whatsapp group we'll we always have it in there so you don't have to worry about oh what is it where is it <laughs> You can just check our group and you can get that information. Praise God. Glory to his holy name. Well, if there's nothing else for this day, go in peace and continue to apply the wisdom of God. It's ours through Christ Jesus. Don't leave it on the table. Ask for wisdom. Hold fast to it and be the vessels that God called us to be. Thank you and God bless you and have a wonderful, amazing day.